Acoustic musician Ryan Keane sings his self-penned track, Thank You. A regular at festivals this summer, he performs this weekend at a relatively new event, the Fish Tank Festival, which aims to support up-and-coming artists seeking exposure, particularly since the cuts in arts funding. I think a lot of interesting avenues have already been explored within specific genres and there's such a great place for something creative and productive when different genres get together and collaborations can happen. This is the second year of the festival which has already seen the number of participants double. The idea is to bring together as wide a range of performers and artists as possible to share audiences and ideas. You are going to get a lot more entrepreneurial thinking in the arts. People are going to have to come up with new ideas and I think just because public funding stops, people don't then stop wanting to create new things. I think it's quite healthy if um, people are forced to come up with new ways of reaching audiences. When I say RIP, I don't just mean rest in peace, I mean rewind it please so we can remain in peace. I'm taking part in Fish Tank because I feel like it's a excellent opportunity to express arts which are rarely expressed collectively like break dancing, poetry, music and that's basically why I just want to, I just like the whole concept everybody expressing themselves with so many different mediums. It's not just performers taking part in the event, entrepreneurs will be holding workshops and filmmakers like Laura Evers-Johns will be showcasing their work. A finalist on Film London's programme for new directors, her debut film by Hook, will be screened this weekend. I think, um, I think events like this and online platforms are becoming more and more important and relevant for filmmakers and other artists um, as, as funding cuts and programme cuts take place. I think it's so important to make use of the networks you have and to look for new opportunities as well. The festival runs at the Rag Factory this weekend. Brendan Manners, BBC London News. Because we reside in poverty, but don't.